loser, fat, ugly, worthless. People can be relentless in their pursuit of making you feel bad. It's the easy way out to dealing with insecurity and bolstering up the ego. A moral high ground, which coincidentally happens to be low-hanging fruit. Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Genki, and I might surprise you. I've been called names my whole life. Instead of commonalities, people have been very specific. Narcissist, egotist, cult leader. The public has a general association with anyone that promotes positivity. And which set of sticks and stones do you think are most effective? I would argue that it's whichever you feel most insecure about. I would be lying if I said positivity is not a wall designed to protect myself from criticism. And I think most of my walls, whilst immovable in some cases, aka being stubborn, are not impenetrable. It's when they fall that the sticks and the stones start to break bones. Because the words do hurt, and the purpose of the walls in the first place was to numb that pain. What is it then that tears down the walls? Specifically, negativity grounded in reality. I went through a barrage of emotions last week and it really shook me to my core. I'm not always right when I make these videos, but I still try my best to be authentic. Someone I respect suffered a loss recently, and I cannot help feeling lost myself. I think the closer you are with someone, the more closely you are tethered to their experiences and emotions. The pain, the joy, success, failure, love, hate, and everything else. I cannot deny there is something beautiful about being vulnerable with another. I think this is one of the reasons monogamy is so appealing. However, beauty comes at a price, and it tends not to be paid up front. It tends to be paid when our walls are torn, and reality, negativity, and insecurity consume us. We want others to get past our defenses. We want others to be a part of our experiences. We want to be vulnerable. However, we also want to avoid feeling pain, and I believe it's the latter that hurts the ego the most. I've actually been unsure about the life I've been leading for as long as I've been leading it, and quarantine did a really good job at tearing down all of my walls, making me aware of just how insecure I felt. People's attitudes towards pain and suffering are subject to what's important to them. And to me, pain is inevitable while suffering is optional. Yet, neither is important. Both are just means to the end. And it is this thought that has led me to much hardship along the journey of my life. I've never truly accepted either as a part of my humanity. Pain comes, suffering is chosen, then within a weekend, I'm back to positivity. I've never been truthfully secure in my thinking, and it is the path of insecurity that is taking me around the world. Chasing after shards, I believe, are necessary to build my dream. This path of an insecure person, I believe, is easier to walk than the path of a secure one, because a secure person must stop chasing after what they think they need to build a better life and just start building it. So now I'm here in Madrid, Spain. It's May 11th, 2020. Having opened myself up to you, I would hope that you would be willing to do the same. Not with me, although I'd be honored, but to yourself. What are you insecure about? How are these insecurities warping your view of the world? Have you accepted them? Or are you in a perpetual state of denial, like I was? There's a mantra I'd like to impart with you before you leave. Three deep breaths. Take a deep breath in. And then upon exhaling, repeat, I am human. Take another deep breath in. And then upon exhaling, repeat, I am human. And finally, one more. And then upon exhaling, a little louder this time, repeat, I am human. Project your voice forward. This exercise is designed to keep you grounded when the emotions are flooding in. Because humans are not superhuman. They are just human. And being human is pretty super. I hope this video helped YouTube. If you felt anything while watching it, don't be afraid to leave a comment. I love responding to comments with energy and positivity. 
and I hope to see you again in the next one. That's it for today. Bye-bye.